Hey guys, so I'm trying to get the bags in the... Because I want you guys to see the bags the whole time. So... Okay, I'm just going to sit like this. So you can see these beautiful bags. Because these bags are so pretty. I almost... Yeah, okay. Is this good? Okay. We're good? Okay. Is this good or should I just sit like this? No, I think we're good. Well, here. Let's turn it a little bit. There we go. So then if I sit over here... Oh, there we go. Perfect. So you can see all the bags there. Okay. You guys, it's going to be SAS, you guys. Oh! This is so, I, don't you love this? It's so pretty. It's like a postcard for Bath & Body Works. Love it. Bath & Body Works. Hit the subscribe button down below if you're near the channel because... Okay. This bag has two bags inside. And then this one has another two bags inside. And they're both heavy, heavy, heavy. And you know I couldn't just do Bath & Body Works. I had to go to Target, honey. Okay, girl. So it's going to be a big haul. It's going to be a $1,000 haul. I have clothes. I have tons of Bath & Body Works. These receipts are long, honey. I saved hundreds of dollars. It's crazy. So let's talk about it. I got men's body care. I got so many soaps. We're going to talk about everything. And the new line. And Oh my God, it's going to be so much fun. So hopefully the camera isn't crooked. If it is, I'm sorry. But I don't think it is. I think we're good. Right? Okay, good. That's what it is. Um... Okay, so yeah, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Shirt is from Versace. Versace, Versace. I looked up how much the shirt was online because my parents wouldn't tell me. Well, Santa wouldn't tell me. Do you want to know how much the shirt costs with tax? $900. I was like, oh my God, Santa broke the bank though. I was like, 900 bucks for a shirt? Sign me up. So anyway, yeah, crazy, right? Well, it was eight twenty five. It would tax like nine hundred dollars, right? So or close to it, but okay. I slapped my and I'm wearing my faux leather leggings from Tar uh, Target from Torrid, and then my fuzzy socks from my, that I hauled yesterday. My haul. So if you haven't seen the haul, including this, go watch yesterday's haul. The what I got for Christmas the opening presents video. Go watch that because. I talk all about all this and more, so much more. So you can see what I got for Christmas. It's gonna be a second Christmas now because girl, Christmas is continuing with all the savings. Okay, so if you're now that you're subscribed and click the gray bell and liked and commented and you know, join the Divas Club, we can get started. So let's just start with the receipts first. So how much did I spend? How much did I save? Okay, the first transaction was because I used, you know, I returned, put on a gift, yeah, gift card, and then did that. Um, so. I spent $94.73. Uh, this is how much I saved because I used the gift card for some reason on this. But, I mean, I must have saved at least, at least about $100 at least. Or over that. With this, for the, with this first total. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it was $98.22. Sorry. Because there was tax too. So $98.22. But I must have saved another 100 something bucks plus. I'm sure at least with that. And this long ass receipt. Okay, so this short receipt. I mean, this is short. <gasps> okay, and then this long ass receipt. I went to the Copperfield one, in case you're wondering. Location. This receipt is a lot longer, girl. Yes, yeah. This should be the this should be the thumbnail. All the bags, the thumbnail in this video. Another iconic one. By the way, thanks for the views in the last video. The the, the last Bath and Body Works haul I did the eight hundred dollar one. Seven thousand views, right? I think. So. Yeah. I mean, I had, you know, but just pretty, I mean, in just a week and a half, a little bit over a week, yeah, I was like, I'm telling you, the thumbnail makes a difference though, right? So this one will get a lot of views because the thumbnail is lit. And the title is going to, I'm going to call it $1,000 Bath Metal or something, you want to say hall, so it's going to be, yeah. Okay, anyway, receipts are done. Oh, I didn't show you the, the money for the, so for the second long receipt, I ended up spending a total of $182.69, but I saved $296.54. So I saved about four or five hundred bucks, so that's amazing in total. So anyway, let's just jump right into it. Let's do this bag here in front of me first, right? Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, this is his first little bag. And they wouldn't give me the SAS bags. They were like, they're, they had to give her these bags first. You know, so I was like, okay, fine. That's like, I have plenty of those saved because, you know, thumbnail goals. You know how it is. <laughs> okay, first bag. 
talk about the new line, Rosewater Meringue. Okay, this is good, you guys. And you know, I don't even like rose anything, but this needs to be have. Packaging is okay on this, you know, whatever. Keynotes are winter rose and fresh ivy infused with sweet sugar cream. The sugar cream is why I got it, because rose doesn't work for me. Yeah, so you get the rose, but you get that cream, and it's really good. It's kind of like a nice creamy icing. It smells like a pink petal tea cake uh, body care. Yeah, and I think that's why everyone's going to get it. I didn't like the soap, remember, in the spring? The pink, 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 pink petal, petal, pink petal cake, whatever that one. But this is good, so hopefully I like this. Um, this is the cream. Um, so yeah, that's the cream. Okay. <laughs> and then I got the matching, um, okay, well, it's somewhere here, but I got the matching um, shower gel in it, I think, and spray. Anyway, some of the creams weren't in the line. I couldn't find them, so I don't know. Okay, this is going to be all random and scattered because everything's in different bags. I got the Night Blooming Jasmine. This packaging is eat to me, but anyway. Um, here we go. And the cream. And, oh, the spray was all sold out. Someone had come and just bought every single one. I was like, really? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it's, it's okay, this packaging. I don't know. It's kind of growing on me. Uh, let me read the, are there, is there a description on this one? No, there isn't. Okay. The description on the this one. Okay. Dreamy and subtle sweet. I was like, S with a magic, um, okay, wait, 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 I can't talk. With a magnetic floral, Okay, it is, this is too early to not talk. This video's gonna be a long one. And by the way, get a snack and a glass of wine like usual and let's get drunk together. This is not vodka. I know everyone's like, girl, you're drinking vodka straight. Girl, if I was drinking vodka straight, I would be lying down this video. I wouldn't be sitting up. It's water, I promise. I promise. <laughs> no, girl, I'm, I'm drinking no vodka out of a cup, girl. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Um... I'll start over again. Night Blooming Jasmine. Dreamy and subtle sweet, subtly sweet with a magnetic floral allure. Beautifully intoxicating. At a, oh God, maybe I am drunk, actually. No, okay. <laughs> intoxicating at any hour. Okay, we're going to pass that joke. Bye, 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 bye. Fragrance notes. Jasmine flower, white musk, and apple blossom. So, I don't really get apple. I just get sort of floral. But it's... This is one of those scents that, like, I kind of, like, you smell it and you're like, should I get it or not? Because... I'm not a floral person at all, but. Someone in the store was telling me what they think they smelled like. Someone's saying it smelled kind of like Lovely Dreamer with like a floral scent. I kind of get that, but it's. It smells like, what is that one scent that came out? You know what this smells like? It smells like Secret Wonderland, a lot like that. With, like, more floral or something in it. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I liked it enough to get it, but I don't know if I'm going to, like, keep it. But I don't know. It's cute. This uh, pastel neon pink is kind of cute. I don't know. This is kind of growing on me. I kind of wanted the spray, but mm, I don't know. Didn't have it. So if I find it later on the sale, because this is not it, I'm going to go back either before the sale's over for sure. And get more stuff, because I already forgot to get all that Christmas and cocoa and cream. Cocoa and Christmas, cocoa, and mint. This is the one. I didn't get this today, but I got this last time. I need to get the shower doesn't more showers than this. I forgot to get that. I, I didn't see it, but I was gonna ask for it. I forgot, so I have to go back and get that anyway. So anyway, it's like we're online, but I don't know, whatever. Um. Anyway, what else do we have here? Okay. Um. This is from that uh spring twenty sixteen line that came back. This SAS. Um. This is called Hibiscus Guava Fresca, and uh, these all smell good. Yeah, this is really, really fruity. Just like a nice, typical fruit, um, which I like. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm down for this. Oh, this smells really, really good. Better than I remember. So I get this one. This is really fruity. If you're like, if you're like strong fruits and sweet, you'll love this one. I only got one in it because, you know, I was seen one. And I got the matching um, shower gel in it. Electric colors, exotic flavors, margaritas at noon, all about that, okay. <laughs> From Cabo to Cancun, experience a fragrance festival, oh, fiesta. Keynotes, Acapulco, Acapulco, yeah, hibiscus, fresh guava, grapefruit, oh my god, these words. Agai fresca, beach iris, sea salt, driftwood. Okay, then. Yeah, this one's really, really good. I only got one, 
I mean, I already went so ham, you're gonna see, but like, I don't know, this is better than I remember. I might have to get more of this. Oh my God, a mess. So there'll be another round for sure. <laughs> Coming up soon. Um, and then I got the Ice Per Margarita in the shower gel. And I got the spray coming up later in the haul. This, this, this haul, this haul, this, um, what's it called? This line I have a lot of fun memories from because when I started getting obsessed with Bath and Body Works, fall of 2015, um, that following spring, 2016, it was my first spring that I went, start, you know, I would say like, such to buy like, uh, it's like the first line that I went like ham with, you know, for the spring. The first spring line that I went ham with was this line. Um, and I don't know, I have fond memories of that. If you want to see the haul, go check it out. I think, uh, just type in Michael Jordan Rio's Bath and Body Works spring, March 2016 haul and it should come up. Yeah. Anyway, but. This all smells better for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's been a couple of years, but. I don't know, y'all. I might have to Go back and hoard all this again. A mess. So you might be seeing it. Well, not might be. You'll be seeing another haul, but you might be seeing a lot more of this in the multiples. I know, right? A mess. Like I need it. Ooh, this smells so much better than it did before. Oh, my God. I don't know. Do I need more than one? I really don't. I don't know. We'll just see. If I get bored, I might get more. Okay. And then and this is one of the Christmas cookies, but I got, like, literally like, six of these. There's, like, a random tag on it, but okay. Price tag, the second one, I don't know why, but okay. We'll just put it there. Um, yeah, and there's like five more. I almost got more than I didn't, I don't know. Because I already have, I don't know, I just, I need to have some control. I literally almost got the rest. I have this new thing that I want to get everything on the shelf. That's not good. Like, it's like, oh, they have like, how many do you all have? I have like nine, I want to get all nine. I know. So I only got six, and I have the ones I already got. So it's like, I think I have like nine or ten in total. Get sweet on the holidays with ooey gooey sugar cookie goodness, creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel wood. This land of sweets line just really grew on me, and now I love it. So I absolutely love it. Okay. And then this soap, I think I got nine, maybe more, of this one soap. I love it so much. Remember, I couldn't find it. No, I did. Okay, and with three dollars, I was like, I went ham. The ice gingerbread. This is the only soap I like from the winter line. Everything else was whatever to me. From the new winter line, like, oh my god, this ice gingerbread, you guys. Oh my god, I got, I got literally everything they had in the whole store. So I don't know how much. I just like dumped the whole thing. Away. Yeah. So and then I think I, I might have gotten like twelve. I'll, at the end, if I if I remember, I'll count everything because it's under different bags. But I love it. I like packaging, I like the color, of the liquid, and it's just so pretty. And it smells good. Oh my god, look. Like, Oh my god, you guys know I love gingerbread. Like my, I love gingerbread. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm gonna do a favorites coming up maybe this week of like everything I like, and there's a bunch of snacks. I want to talk about my favorites, and like there are these gingerbread cookies that I love from like I've been obsessed with. Oh, and they smell. Oh, did I really see? I remember the keynotes, right? Did I? I don't know. Read them again. Homemade. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, homemade gingerbread brown sugar and vanilla extract. It just smells like the best cookies ever. So I got one, two, three, four, only in this bag. And there's probably, I know I got six and then I got maybe four or six more. I might have 12 of these plus the ones I already had from previous. So maybe in total, maybe 16, I don't even know. I might have 12 in this haul, might. Yeah, I have 12. Okay, so the other eight are coming up in the hall. I know, I know. What else is new, right? I go ham all the time. I always go ham. This bag is empty, so what's it over there? Okay, next bag. Oh, this one's heavy because I have a lot of shower gels. Actually, they're all shower gels except for two soaps. <laughs> it's funny because I never use the men's line, but I keep buying it. Like, okay, I use the sprays, but the shower gels I never really use. But the way I see it is if I don't use the men's shower gels eventually, which I do like to have smell them, I'll give them to my friends. Because I have um, guy friends who love it. So I'll just give it to them as gifts. So, Or even like not even gifts. Like if they're like need shower gel. I'm like, oh, here we go. You know? Okay, anyway. 
Um, so let's start with that. So let's talk about, okay, so I got a white water brush. The packaging before was better than this, but this is still cute. Is it a keynote? Okay, fresh white water aromatic bergamot white cedar. This is one of the best scents for men. Honestly, all the men's scents were so good on sale. I, I bought one of each. Oh my god, yeah. Oh, it's like your, like your white water rafting was that guy front, and that's what I want to do. So yeah. Um, so that one's good. I got, I think I got two of those. Or did I get three? No, I got... Did I get three? I might have gotten the third one. I don't know. But for two in this in this bag. So I got another one. I mean, it's pretty, but I like the whole, like, you know, water thing. You know, the, the, the packaging that they used to have. Okay, I don't know. So I'm going to topple over eventually, whatever. Okay, and then I got one of the amber. Because this smells really good. This, this keynotes are orange bitters. Sander. Sander. Sandalwood Amber Musk. Okay. It just smells like the Amber Body Care. Sweet, you know, Amber, whatever the heck it's called. Amber Glow, whatever the heck it's called, but for men. Yeah, it smells really good. So, like I said, if I don't use it, I'll give it to my... One of my, one of my best friends is a guy. So, he'll, like, love all this stuff. So, if I don't use it, I'll give it to him and he'll use it up. He loves it. So, Yeah. Okay, so it'll get it'll be put to good use either way. Oh my god, it's on sale, so why not just hoard it, right? Paris, I didn't like C4, but now I do. I don't know why. So for some reason, when it's on sale, I like it. it smells so good. I kind of want to get ten of these, but I'm not going to. Okay, cedarwood, orange zest, hint of musk, and the bottle is dark blue. I like it, so I got it. And then I got a mineral. I wasn't even planning on getting any of this, except yeah. Oh, the midnight wasn't on sale. It was full price, so I didn't get any of the midnight. Otherwise, I would have gotten more of the midnight. But that's my all-time favorite. Oh my god, for the men's line. By the way, I have a new favorite cologne. I'm gonna, talk, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it for my favorites. Now I'll talk about it now, but watch favorites too. The Versace Eros cologne. I didn't haul it because I literally just got two things from Ulta like a few weeks ago, so I didn't even haul it. But oh my god. I might even do a whole review on it. It's so good. Oh, this is good too. This smells good. This kind of smells a little bit like the beach water coconut from the woman's line. But like this is better though. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Okay. And then I went ham on the Christmas cookie shower gel. I got even more. So I hauled one and I got five more. So yeah. So it's going to be two. Which I showed the first one earlier in the video. This is three. Four, five, and then six. I almost cleared the whole place out, like everything they had, but I was like, you know what? Let's not go that crazy. Just let me try not to. Because, yeah, I just, I don't know. And I got two more of the ice gingerbread, but there's more coming, as you guys know, in the bags coming up. Two more ice gingerbreads. Oh, this soap, if you don't, oh, for $3, just get 20 of them. I'm not This bag is done. Okay, so now, which means it's small, this small bag, this big bag is done as well. Everyone knows asking what this is. It's just like an important candle safety information on the bottom, that little label thing. <laughs> You're like, what is that? That's what it is. Okay. okay. This thing. I thought I heard something. Okay, hopefully we won't have any interruptions. Okay. <laughs> um... Okay, so, part of the new line. The Violet Leaf and Blackberry. Oh my god, this smells so good, you guys. Oh my god. This smells freaking fantastic. You get strong blackberry, but it isn't a repackage of that blackberry basil that, oh, you know, I thought it would be. No, it's not. It's like super, it's almost like rasp, it's, it's, it's like a blackberry syrup. Like a blackberry syrup. Yeah, it's like literally blackberry syrup. It's so super, super sweet. I don't even get any violet leaf. I literally just get pure raspberry syrup. It's so sweet and good. And the packaging, it's better in person, I will say. So, yeah, it's cute. But I'm not going to get more than one because I just I don't even need this. But, <laughs> yeah. That's the cream. Let's do the keynote. Uh, fresh green violet petals and succulent sugared blackberries. Yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, with powdery vanilla beans. So it has like a bakery hint to it. Yeah, that's why I like it. There we go. 
Yeah, this one is fan freaking tastic. This one I think is the favorite um, of mine out of this line. Yeah, it's just it's fantastic. So definitely stuck up on that. And I got the shower gel as well. I'm trying to think if someone's coming in. Sorry, <laughs> my parents are out there like. Anyway, whatever. Sorry. Keep hearing things. Probably, probably the neighbor coming home. Yeah, and this smells oh, it's just super sweet. It just it smells like vanilla, blackberry, like crumble or cake or something. Like oh, it smells so good. Like a, like a donut. It smells really good. Like a powdery blackberry donut with like blackberry filling or something. Super good. The wild lime gardenia. Okay, I have the shower gel. Oh, I, oh, I did get it. I thought, I thought I didn't get it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I did like this one. I was like, I thought I didn't like it. Okay, so yeah, I like this one too. For some reason I thought I put it back. I guess I didn't. No, I like this one. There was one I didn't like. What was it? Oh, the raspberry one. Yeah. I think it was a repackage of the sweet and mint leaf. I was just kind of like, whatever. But this one's good. This one I thought it would be a repack. You know what? This was, I thought this would be like coconut lime uh, breeze with the fresh gardenia. It kind of is, but it's, it works. It doesn't have that horrible... You know the coconut lime breeze, how I used to like it, but then that coconut made me kind of gag. This just has that sweet lime from the coconut lime breeze without the coconut. So it's really lime, really lime. Strong on lime, but it's like a sweet lime. A sunny blend of bright citrusy, bergamot, fresh gardenia blooms, and warm musk. So you get the lime. It's kind of like a lime candy, like a lime jelly rancher. And then you get this subtle gardenia with it. Yeah, this is really good. I might have to get more of this too. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to get more because I'm going to be good for once in my life. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna get more. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, girl, bye. Who am I kidding? Okay. So I got spray and a shower gel. I only got one today, but there's always tomorrow. And then I got, oh, I got another men's <laughs> suede for men. Oh, there's no keynotes on this, is there? Okay, no. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> I swear, these weren't that good last year. Now they're good. Ooh, it smells so good. This smells like that uh, Dolce Gabbana the one. Remember that cologne I used to talk about? I gave it to my dad. Um, that I used to um, talk about. Remember the, the one that Matthew McConaughey used to always be the face of? Like years ago, like 10 years ago. Yeah, this smells like Dolce Gabbana the one cologne. This smells really, really good. Suede. It's really good. Bath and Body Works. You are killing it, girl. And the rest is just more of the ice ginger bread because I just love it and I want to stock up on it. So two more. And I guess four more. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. So that is that. And then another empty bag. Okay. We're getting through this pretty quickly. Okay. Last bag. I know. I'm sad. Don't worry. There'll be another haul soon. Sure. <laughs> oh, and the rose water meringue. I got... Okay. This is the spray and the shower gel because I hauled the cream earlier. So here we go. This packaging is really pretty. The hot pink and the black. I like it a lot. Um, winter rose and fresh ivy infused with sweet sugar cream that... Yeah, it's just, you get the hint of the rose, but, yeah, you get that sweet cream, like, yeah, I'm telling you, Pink Petal Tea Cake and Body Care, that's what I'm getting, tea cake, yeah, you're gonna love this, I'm sure, I'm sorry this hasn't sold out already, this is gonna be really popular, put this over here, and then I got, oh, okay, you know what, this, this video was enough, and it smelled better today, so I just got it, Sugared Cranberry Cider, it smelled weird to me in the shower gel this year, so I didn't get it, but I don't know. I liked it today, so it smelled nice and sweet today, so I got it. Maybe it was just needed to be on sale, and then I liked it. Fall traditions. The back... Yeah, I'm trying to burp. That's why. Okay. Right, the backyard fire flickers up into a clear autumn night sky. Sweetness and tartness mingle in mugs of fresh homemade cider. That sounds good. It's the season to gather under the shimmering stars. Oh, that's nice. Fragrance notes, wild cranberry, juicy mulberries, plum blossoms, and velvet musk. So, there you go. They even got me to get one of these. So, there we go. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I got more of the ice gingerbread. <laughs> so, oh my god, I only have 12. I'm mad. There you go. So, I need more of these ice gingerbread soap. Just kidding. I don't need more. Good enough. enough. And then the night blooming jasmine and the shower gel because the spray was all sold out. I probably won't get it in the spray, even if I find it in the store, because it's so it's it's pretty heavy on the floor. All this, I'm not gonna lie, like, yeah. Okay, you know what this smells just like? I just remembered. 
it's that scent that I got this past SAS. What is the heck is it called? I don't remember the name and I don't want to get up and waste your time and go get it. It came out online for SAS this summer and I got one of them and I hauled it. I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of it. Okay, but it smells just like that. Might have, might have been a repackage of that. What is it? Not country chic, but it smells like... Oh, whatever. Okay. Dreamy and subtly sweet with a mag magnetic floral allure, beautifully intoxicating at any hour. Jasmine flower, white musk, apple. White musk, apple blossom. I almost want to go to the room and find out, but I don't want to waste your time, but... Oh, this smells really good. I don't know. I like it. I don't know. I might spray the spray. I don't know. And if I like it, I might get it. We'll see. I should shower, Joe. And the rest are just pocket bags. I just got five of these. The vanilla cupcake, because, you know, why not? Anything sweet and gourmand, gourmand I like. So I got five of these. That's three. And then I got two more. You know, the five for six deal. These never go on sale, so I just, whatever. Happy birthday. My birthday is next month, so there you go. Actually, it's a month from today, 26th of January, so in a month, I'll be a year older. <laughs> um, then I got five of these raspberry waves. I think this is, have a magical Christmas. I think this is a repackage of something from earlier, but whatever. This packaging was cute and whatever. So that's three and it's five. If I can get up straight. Whatever, you get the point, five of those. Okay, this bag is done. So now I'm gonna haul the Target. If you don't care about Target, I'll see you, uh, well, maybe tomorrow, but I'll see you sooner for next, another video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like button, comment button, comment button. Leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe, gray bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, but if you're staying, this is what I got from Target. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I got leggings. I needed like leggings. I didn't really have any leggings. So I just got more. Size large, $14. This is the brand Wild Fable. I got army print leggings. And this one is in gray. Okay. So yeah, they're really comfortable. I like the leggings from Target. They last for years. And they're really comfortable and they're pretty affordable. The ones from Tour, the only ones from Tour I like are these ones. Because these are good. The ones they had at Target, like these were not cute. They were like a baggy. No, 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 no. Toured ones for the full leather. That's where you should go. In case you're wondering. Um, and then I got this regular black one. I, I, I would have gotten more. It's just $7. Wild Fable, size large. But, because, I mean, you can never have enough black le black leggings. But they only had one more. I said, like, large because I like to be comfortable on my stomach. But, uh, yeah, I mean, when it comes to black leggings, you can have, like, ten of these and never have enough. They're so good. But any outfit, you just wear Uggs this and a sweater and you're good to go, right? It just works. So... I got that, $7, and then I got, this bag is falling everywhere, okay, and what is this, oh, <laughs> so this showed a couple, like a month ago too, and I just wanted to get it now, I didn't have an XL, so I got 2X, $12.99, it's just like the biggie shirt with the, um, you know, with the different colors, with the crown, so I'm gonna wear this with leggings, and it's 2X, I was like, you know what, I don't mind a baggy shirt, it, it still looks good on me, I tried it in the dressing room, I tried everything in the dressing room, so I got that. And I got these, um, I wasn't going to get this, but it's just super cute. I have to get a size large, Wild Fable, is it, yeah, $20. And this is just like one of those pants that like, they're kind of like baggy, but they're kind of cute. Kind of like a bell-bottom kind of like style, you know what I mean? Like a hippie kind of like bohemian bell-bottom kind of thing. Like, yeah, you get the point, yeah. Really cute, but they're super soft and comfortable and kind of warm. So, yeah, I got those. And then last but not least, oh, actually, got one thing. But for clothing, I got the same leggings but in green for the regular army print. So it was gray, gray army print, same thing, wild table, size large, and the tag is in here, but it's the same as price as that, 14 bucks. So, because the tag was off, so they had to get the code to record it for the, you know, check out. But, yeah, got it in green, because, I mean, green army leggings I mean hello it's a must right and then I got some more gum because I've been chewing gum again lately so I got the cobalt peppermint um 15 six, 15 sticks that's 15 sticks <gasps> 15 sticks uh, 15 sticks sugar free gum pink oh pink peppermint cobalt five I used to uh smoke this wow I used to chew this gum all the time in high school and college and then I stopped but why not chew it again there you go and this bag is done 
Thanks for watching my humongous haul, my $1,000 haul, uh, when it comes to the worth of everything. Um, thanks for watching. Um, will there be more hauls? Of course, there always are. I'm um, going back to Dollar Tree beginning of the year or soon to get Valentine's Day decorations. So look out for that in the next week or two. Um, there'll be another, um, will I go to Victoria's Secret? I don't know. I might end up because I have to return that thing from yesterday's video. So that one cent. So I have to return that. So I might buy some things before the sale's over. May or may not. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, there'll be more hauls, I'm sure. And um, yeah. Other videos coming up. I might do a favorites um, and other videos. Another Q&A coming up soon as well. So, yeah. I don't know. I was going to start doing like fast move bangs, but I had the Burger King fries and they're really, really good, but they gave me kind of heartburn. So, <laughs> I guess the fast move bangs are not going to happen after all. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, but um, what else? Anything else happening? I don't know. I don't know. The more videos coming soon. Okay, how about that? <laughs> if you haven't seen yesterday's video, go check it out. Um, this shirt plus socks plus everything else I got for Christmas. I hauled in that video. Yesterday's video. It's called Opening Up our, All Our Presents. 2019 is spectacular. Go check, check, go check that out. The thumbnails with a Christmas tree and presents. Really pretty. This thumbnail. What do you think about this thumbnail? In the background. Let me know in the comments below. So like, comment, subscribe. Great bell. Join the Diva Squad. I'll see you in my next video. Until next time. Mwah! Hope you had a wonderful holiday and Christmas with your friends and family. And I will see you in my next video next time. Happy essay of shopping. Bye, guys.